Gamble Pan. Holy cow. Just look. This is in the middle of the pan. Crazy. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna sit back and enjoy my fire. Find one at that. I'm gonna have a have a beer and a glass on this hillside. The boys are gonna make another pass now down alongside the pond. This has a couple dandies on this side. A little bit of a lop out there for me and uh, in the kayak. I could manage it but I think the boys are gonna bring me up the pond and let me uh, troll the way down. So for the time being I'm going to relax see if I can spot a bear and uh, maybe keep eye on the boys. Do a bit of sightseeing, eh? Anyways, boys, the wind's after picking up. But gee, she's a beautiful day. Blue skies, that wind only keeps flies away. He's hiding away, ain't he, is he? He's rocking out there. Oh, yes, boy. You got a couple small ones, did you? Yeah. Yes, boy. Yes, sir. No trouble. Not going over at night. Nice rough grouse, boys. There's a great little bit of grub here, boys. We got it out now, I later. Okay. We got some uh, taco, uh, we got some ground beef with taco seasoning and uh, Frank's Red Hot. We got trout. Oh, hang on, let's see this. Oh, oh yeah. Now we're talking. Some boiled trout in the pot. Good job, boys. Ryan just spotted one nice looking moose up there. I put the binoculars up and seen where he was looking. And I saw the one that he saw a little one behind or a big one behind him. So they're up on this uh, ridge here. Yeah, they're on the move though, they're feeding. They're feeding and they're moving. Yeah. So I feel I got a good eye for it here this morning or here today. And yeah, what time is it? I say it's three it's almost go, three o'clock. Over three o'clock in the day, yeah. Ten to three. Perfect. Moose up feeding on the go. Yeah. So we both spotted one there that time and I just spotted the caribou on the other side of this uh, actually there's two ridges over. 
Then over right here, we saw an old can of goose flying through, honking the two, was it? Yeah, two. Two can of geese flying through, honking their way. So, gonna have uh, some cod for uh, uh, lunch slash dinner, early dinner, late lunch, whatever you want to call it, supper, breakfast, sup yourself. We're gonna have it about four o'clock. So, just getting the mushrooms and onions warmed up. Got some cod from last year. <clears throat> Kai's impressed. Kai's impressed. Good job. Yeah. Gonna do a coffee or what? Getting there, yeah. Good job. Good to take the party inside, boys. We uh, ran into a little bit of a fly issue. So, there's no shortage of mosquitoes out there. Or black flies? Oh, black, black flies. flies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as if black flies weren't bad enough, eh? Yes. Mosquitoes in the mix. Just a left few stakes from old Cal Labrador. Yes, exactly. Gambo Pond is home to Sea Run Brook Trout as well as Resident Brook Trout, often called Mud Trout in Newfoundland. This happened to be a Resident Brook Trout with a beautiful orange belly. Very red meat inside and tastes great. Boys, look on the water. Oh, it's yeah. full of larvae. Drops over his phone over the boat now. Nice. The old nerd upside here. It's for, fish it's on? for the point of the phone, it's for the point of the videos oh. and pictures as I <laughs> Bring it over. Wind dish. Yeah. Going like a whippersnapper. Huh? Going like a young whippersnapper. This is not a bad one. Perfect, boys. This is an boys. This is showing up. Yeah. Nice and fresh, nice silver nice one. Fresh fish, yeah. Perfect, boys. Jeez, another nice fish. Whoa. Keep him away from your rod. Bandy. Trying to save Tangley. Same, same trout. Oh, Danny No. You can get them later in the air to dark, early in the air to silver. One fish, though. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. That was nice sticking with the hand. Yep. Here you go, buddy. Sir, let's fish. Good job. He popped okay. Oh, Perfect. Okay. Perfect. Jesus. Couldn't get a better release. Who's doing him a release? Oh, okay. Yeah, but keep whatever treat one. <laughs> Cleaner, my God. I just laugh at you. What do you think, uh, Robert's nice fish? That's yeah, beautiful. Damn breeze. What do you think? Don't, don't, don't have a canary. Here's all these fish. Beautiful. Got a few fish here to clean, boys. This is Ryan's uh, brook trout. See how pinky is inside now. Hey Ryan. Is it any good or what? Pink? No. Orange. Red. Oh yes, now we're talking. Huh? Hey, oh, watch you for the knife. Watch you for the knife and the, the camera and everything else. Go ahead. Go ahead, Dad. Oh, oh here's A. He's blood red, yeah, he's a sea He's sea blood red there, boys. <laughs> Oh, we got Achilles. What a beautiful fish. You need that, Ra? Something like that. Yes, you can eat that, Ra. Good clean down. After the video goes off. That video's over, he's throwing up everywhere. It was Roberts. Salty. Look at Robert, great explorer. 
Or he's not ready to get out of the He's not ready for a loan yet. He's not ready for a loan yet. Oh crap, that dude. It made it look like it swallowed us. Oh crap, it didn't make it look like it swallowed us. Literally. Don't what though, it was edible. Like it's not. Rubber boots, yes. Get on that side and tip on the water, would you? Beautiful pink fish there, guys. Beautiful fish, boys. Oh, boys. Ryan's getting straight away. We got a few, uh, <laughs> we got a few fillets there, boys. Great job. No. As the orange glow from this old wood stove puts us to sleep while burning our dry spruce logs, I can only imagine the stories it could tell from other fishermen who have sat beside it throughout the years while on similar fishing trips. All the boys are on the way back now. I'm glassing up some uh, moose here on the far, uh, far side of the pond. There were uh, three over there. Now there's two. And I see one. They could be moving up. One was dark, one was light, and one almost looked like a calf. So, who's to say? It's not a little bit early, but, you know, there's a few calves on to go for sure. But boys, excellent sign. Excellent wildlife here. <clears throat> Just gonna have a, a little bit of coffee. Boys are coming up. I got the fire in. Have a little warm up. It's a chilly morning. I don't know what time it is here. On my phone. I'd say it's about 6 30. No, oh, gee whiz. Probably 7. Quarter after 7. Time flies when you're out here. So, uh, I don't know if you can hear, hear the boat coming. There's Ryan and Kelly coming up the pond. Well, it was uh, day 3 here now. And uh, we still got today and tomorrow morning left. How to beat it, boys. It's, uh, it's a great trip. Uh, I mean, excellent, excellent scenery, wildlife. And you know, we're not all that far from home. A couple hours, we're here. And uh, it's hard to beat it, boys. You get out and explore Newfoundland. It's uh, something to be seen, that's for sure. Here, Kai. Only bit of garbage I've seen here, boys. A big snarl of line. I can't say much about it out here because it's uh, phenomenal in the way of not having much garbage. That's an awful snarl, though. But I know this might not be the best in a pretty environment, but we're gonna get rid of that right really quick. Better not have no garbage around, boys. Just paddle over from the other side. Trolling the way over. Look into a beauty brook trout, boys. Boys and girls. Nice thick trout. Probably a pound. Almost a pound. A lovely fish.
Hey. See? Good job, all right. He's fair, he got some gun on him. Some gun on him. He's eating. Tell you what, you're not going to lose neither, buddy. He's small up. He's eating well. Holy, he's like codfish, man. That's like a time cod. Last evening finished with a beautiful sunset over North Pond, just a few short kilometers from Gambo Pond. Tomorrow morning is our last morning, and we will spend it fishing Gambo Pond with hopes of getting a few more nice winning ish to take home in the cooler. No Chef Boy RD. Hey boys. So this is what we sized up earlier. As you sized that up. Okay. I'm not eating none of that. So that's tamarack coming from this book. This is tamarack needles. We've tried it earlier. I haven't died yet. So you take these little needles off and you sprinkle it like a garnish. And that's going right over them uh, wind dish now. It's got a, a bit of a menthol flavor to it. Minty menthol. So that's wild boys right from behind the cabin here. All the little garnish, some liver and onions, mushrooms. I might, I might try that after all. Boy, that is that's, uh, that's good stuff. So we got a little bit here. Oh. So I said, I'm just testing it out, you know, going by that guide. So he knows what we're doing. It's not us. Sean Dawson knows what he's doing. No relation to the boys. <laughs> but like I said, a little garnish, mm. put a little bit of extra flavor onto it. Gilly does a fine job of it anyway. So, oh, yes. all right, I'm gonna dig right in now, boys. Liver, please. That's my Cheers. Bud Light now. Don't drink. Oh, that's your Bud Light. That's my Bud Light. Don't go getting cross there. Could be fighting. All right, my son. Good luck to you. Hey, boys. See you down on the north side. All right, buddy. While Ryan and Kelly fished their last morning at Gambo Pond, I decided to test my luck and paddle down Triton Brook to see what wildlife I could see around each and every bend. <laughs> 